Pastor Ryan here as we come to week five of Journey to the Cross by Dr. Paul Tripp for our Lenten study here at UPC. Uh, this week is marked by days uh, 23 through 28, those six days. So I want us to cover those quickly in overview and then really to talk about what I think is just one of the main issues that Dr. Tripp talks about in these. Day 23, he talks about sacrifice and the way that it can be so easy that we make sacrifice for goals in our own lives, but then how is it that we account in our lives for Christ's sacrifice for us? How do we think upon and how do we dwell upon what God has done for us? Uh, day 24 is about fasting and about calling us into relationship with God, that when we fast, we do so for our purpose, and he goes over some major ways in which we may be able to fast, facets of fasting. Number one, to give ourselves to prayer. Number two, to not make a show of it. Number three, to bathe ourselves in God's word. Number four, to make sure we're ready. Uh, number five, to be quiet before the Lord. And number six, to confess what God has revealed. Number seven, to make new commitments out of that. And number eight, to be thankful. That thankfulness is the end result or a major end result of what happens because of our fasting as we refocus and commit ourselves to God. Uh, day uh, 25 then is about uh, really uh, our sense of pride uh, that can well up in us at any time really in life, but in particular during Lent as we think that we have given something up for God or uh, we think about our work and we focus on our work rather than on the work of God. Day 26 uh, talks to us uh, about um, our satisfaction and where we find satisfaction in life. Where do we find satisfaction or where are we dissatisfied and how does dissatisfaction lead us uh, to uh, into a place where we rightly understand our own brokenness and our broke and the brokenness of the world uh, that we might turn back to God. And then uh, day 27 uh, really uh, has us uh, looking at um, what our regrets are in life as we look back and think about the things that we've done, opportunities lost, uh, things we should have done that we didn't do and things that we should not have done that we did do. And then day 28 is really about our own confidence um, in coming to God uh, and confessing things to him, knowing and uh, being confident that he will forgive us. And so uh, those is, that's a brief overview of those days. I, I really think that uh, when we look at these days, there, there is an overarching theme to these six days, and, and that is this, that we typically tend to be selfish creatures. We typically approach things based uh, from ourselves outward. Am I going to engage in this activity? Well, well, it depends. Is it good for me? Does it bring satisfaction? Does it bring joy to me? Uh, as we weed through and sift through plans, maybe that we might have opportunities to to hang out with people or even to stay at home on a on a on a Saturday evening. We say, well, well, what do I feel like? Am I run down? Am I tired? Would I rather have alone time to regroup and replenish and be by myself, or would I rather go out with friends? Or would I rather go out with this group of friends or this group of friends? What seems more fun to me? Even in trivial matters like that, but but even in our jobs, what satisfies me? What fulfills me? Perhaps you're watching this and you're about to eat a meal or you're deciding what you'll have for lunch or for supper or for breakfast. And you say, well, what do I feel like? What will make me feel good? I think about uh, fast food commercials uh, that have taglines like just like you like it or um, have it your way. Um, we really live in that type of culture. And, and not only do we live in that kind of type of culture, we live in that type of culture because that is our human nature after the fall. We want to do what we want to do. We want to do it our way. So everything we tend to approach, even in Christianity, even in our faith, comes from us and we become the starting point. And really in all of these things, I think that, that Dr. Tripp is talking about this week in these six days, he is talking about starting from a different place, starting from the place of God for us to get outside of ourselves, our own desires, our own wants, our own sense of self-importance and self satisfaction and self-righteousness and rather to focus on what God has done for us, his beauty, his majesty, his sacrifice. 
turning to him and fasting as we abstain from those desires that we have to focus on him. And really, in many ways, that's what this Lenten season is about. It's about us looking at God in a different way, looking at ourselves in a different way, and looking at the world in a different way. God bless.